let's discuss architecture of 8086 so 8086 architecture can be divided into two parts one is bus interface unit and another is execution unit uh, first let's discuss on bus interface unit the main uh, parts of 8086 uh, bus interface units are segment registers these all are segment registers then instruction pointer instruction queue that is 6 byte then adder circuit which generate the 20 bit address then uh, it is uh, connected to the internal data bus and 20 bit address is generated so through this data bus instructions are coming to the instruction queue then decoding is done then necessary actions are taken executions are done in the ALU execution unit so let's discuss uh, 0086 uh, bus interface unit in detail so as I told you we, we can divide into bus interface unit and execution unit so bus interface unit actually uh, doing the fetching operation so if we can divide main task of microprocessor generally fetching decoding and execution in that fetching is done by bus interface unit so it is fetches instructions as and data from external world it can be memory or io port uh, bus interface unit is having a 6 byte queue so we can see here uh, there is a 6 byte queue in bus interface unit this 6 byte queue enable pipeline architecture that means if some instructions are executing in the extra uh, execution unit instructions the uh, next instructions can be prefetched and kept in this queue so it's kind of parallel processing execution is done here prefetching of instructions are done here so instructions are ready in the pipeline so that's why this processor is having a pipeline architecture so th that uh, speeds up overall processing of the 8086 microprocessor so i hope you understand the 6 by what is the use of the 6 byte queue that is for prefetching instructions that increases the speed of operation then let's see the next topic uh, i mean the next part is instruction pointer and segment registers let's see in, what is the use of instruction pointer instruction pointer is as a 16 bit register and uh, instruction pointer hold the offset of next instruction to be fetched from the code segment and instruction point is incremented after every instruction byte is fetched because uh, if you see this is a code segment I'm showing this is a code segment each segment memory is a 64 kilobyte so uh, instruction pointer hold the effective address of next instruction to be fetched in this example move x comma bx basically it's op uh, basically it's a hex code will be stored here so this data will be transferred or uh, this instruction will be transferred next to the microprocessor so instruction pointer basically point to the next instruction to be fetched from microprocessor so it is pointing to the code segment memory and the physical address of next instruction is calculated by using this formula cs into 10h plus ip so suppose uh, i give you an example suppose in this example cx is 2000 because uh, core segment register here core segment register always holds the first four digit of code segment memory starting address so uh, here if you see first four digit the one two three four 
2000 basically it is 20000 in hexa but 2000 will be stored in Corsica and suppose instruction pointer value is 0002 then the address of next instruction to be fetched will be this into 10h means we can append a zero so this formula is cs into 10h plus ip so cs value is 2000 into 10h means append one zero on the less b side plus ip value ip is nothing but here exam in this example it is triple zero two so if you add this you get 20002 so from 20002 next instruction will be fetched in this example it is no x comma bx hexa value so this calculation this calculation is done by this adder circuit so code segment register value into 10h plus instruction pointer value will be this calculation is done here to point to the next instruction to be fetched from the memory so this part this side actually interface with the memory side uh, uh, so this is uh, and then we have we know the segment registers uh, hold the base address of the each segment base address means starting address of the each segment memory for code segment memory this is code segment memory as an example I given here so the base address of code segment memory is 20,000 and its first four digit is stored in the code segment register so like that suppose there is a stack segment and if it's uh, starting at 10,000 the first four digit 1000 will be stored in stack segment register so don't get confused with the segment register and segment memory segment memory is external to the processor segment register is in the bus interface unit of microprocessor and uh, segmentation of memory we will discuss in detail in the next class